going on? Back for another episode of Talking Sheep. It's gonna be my first time involved with weed. It's gonna, it's gonna be pretty good. This was a uh, pretty good time back in the day. I'd say somewhere around five years, probably a good bit more. So let's get into it. So this takes us back to when I was still in elementary school. I was just chilling out. I was always trying to get my hands on something. I was I was one of those kids even before I was fucking with shit real hard. So uh, I was just chilling out one day, chilling in my bed. I walk out into the hallway. I'm about to go to use the bathroom. I look on the washing machine. Who knows? There's a little baggie on there. And instantly I know what this is. Like. Shit, give me a second. Oh, fuck, I fucked shit up. Alright, we back. I had to fix the camera. But, uh... So, I instantly knew what it was. And I held on to it for two days since it was the weekend. I go to school, and I instantly inform one of my closest buddies his name. It's a different J from the last video. This is a different buddy. Uh, he's gonna go by JB, I guess, so... I tell JB we're going down the down the hallway and he looks at me. He was very unsure about this. He wasn't into the idea. And he doesn't tell me straight away because he, he knows what I like to get into and he knows I was looking forward to this. So I inform him that I want him to be at my place this weekend so me and him can get together and, you know, blaze. So we get shit going on. And on Friday, I tried to... <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but... I was not the best informed when it came to weed. It was my first time. I was stupid. I got the weed and I tried to roll a little J with it. And I didn't have no rolling papers, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll use notebook paper. So I run out to the dirt bike trails. There's a little shed out there, so I sit behind the shed. I roll my shit up. Not very well. And I tried smoking it. It didn't go very well, though. Um, I don't know. I'm like, alright, fuck this, I'm just putting it back in the bag. Put the shit back in the bag. A, the day later, JB comes over, and we're hanging out. I tell him about it. He he's he seems hesitant. He doesn't flat out say he doesn't want to do it. So we're hanging out, waiting for nighttime, and turns out my boy A, is, these are my two closest buddies, AB and JB. They're not brothers or nothing. Um, we go over to AB's house. He's literally right behind the shopping area. He moved re uh, pretty recently, but he used to live back there. And uh, me and Jay are like, alright, fuck it, let's just go. So we go over to stay the night at his house. He has a one hitter, a little, a little metal pipe, probably about, I'd say, uh, something like that long shit's an ad give me a second I'm trying to have some cool music going but this shit won't let me be fuck that ain't it that's better that's better so i'm all like okay when we doing this he's like sure let me just go grab the shit we'll hop out the window and we smoked right there next to a bush right outside his window I'm like, yo, Jay, why aren't you coming out here? He's like, I don't want to do it, man. So, I'm chilling out outside the window. We smoke. We fucking take our, take our shirts off and everything because, you know, I had to worry about getting caught. So, we come back inside. We wash our hands, mouthwash, all that shit. I, I go back in the room, and I feel the high start building. And this is my first high, so, you know, it was pretty fucking intense. And I look around, and I, I hear something up on the top bunk. Because in AB's room, he had a bunk bed. And so AB, I mean JB, he was sleeping on the top bunk. We got AB on the bottom bunk. Now we got me sitting down on this extra mattress we had sitting next to it. So I'm chilling out down there. And I hear J, JB, he's fucking like, 
He's making noise, so I go up. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? What's going on? What you doing? And he's fucking crying, dude. And you know how it is when you're high as fuck. Emotions will just fucking overcome you so easily. And he starts telling me why he's crying, because apparently he had an uncle who got locked up for narcotics. Or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't remember. And I start losing my shit, too. I'm like, damn. So we both sitting there crying, and A.B. admittedly has been smoking for a solid fuck. He was... Okay, so... He's probably... He's been smoking for probably about three years longer than I have. So he's got a lot more experience. He's like, all right, both you get down here. Y'all just hug it out. We hug it out, and we start joking around, and we laughing our asses off. But that was some of the funniest shit. That was, that's that's my first experience with weed. And things did pick up. I did get better with the, with that shit. It was some great shit. Uh, I went to sleep pretty soon after that, so, you know, I really didn't get to experience the high for too long. I just cried, and then I started laughing, and I was happy as fuck. And, uh, I was fucking... That was that, man. I was happy. I, uh, when it comes down to substances, um, I know a lot about a lot of different things, but I started smoking weed at about 12. Started drinking probably about last year. I ain't been drinking for very long. I had a good supply of it. I've been sticking to shit like this. I probably about, I probably started shit like this probably about four years ago. Um, there's no reason for the time I'm starting these things, it's just when I can get a hold of the type of shit. And, uh, things are going pretty well for me at this moment. So, yeah, that's basically the video, my man. Uh, there ain't much else to say along with it. I've got a lot of really great weed stories, lots of substances I can talk about. Um, perhaps I'll start a series about, like, rankings not necessarily ranking but reviewing substances like nicotine alcohol thc shit if i had experience with psychedelics i would definitely start reviewing psychedelics since i'm, I'm really interested in that kind of thing i've been looking into it i know a lot but i'm i've not dabbled in it myself but um yeah it's probably gonna end up being the video today it's a little short but you know that's how it is you're gonna get over it ain't you this one doesn't really fit with the same type. It doesn't really... Shit, how, how am I trying to... Fuck. It doesn't really fit in with the first video. Because that's usually just me telling the story and calling out a motherfucker. This was me talking about an experience. And I, I feel that they belong in the same playlist. So, that's that, my friend. I'll see y'all... Next video, probably either coming out tomorrow or day after. Let's hope this shit gets some views.